Greek salad or Koryatiki as it is known in Greece is a very refreshing, healthy and colourful salad. It is usually made using coarse lettuce or romaine lettuce and what I'm going to do now is plug these leaves and immerse them in ice cold water. This will help to maintain the crispness of the salad leaves. If your leaves have brown parts in them, make sure that you remove them and keep them aside. Time to make the salad dressing. The dressing in a salad is what holds all the elements of a salad together. So you need to get the balance of flavors right to make a great salad. To make the dressing, I would need about 2 tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and then I'm going to put in about 2 tablespoons of lime juice, a teaspoon of dried oregano, if you're using fresh oregano, use about 1 tablespoon and then I'm going to crush some black pepper into this bowl, time to put in the salt, about 3 fourths of a teaspoon. I can already get the lemony tangy flavor from the fresh lime. Time to bring in all the elements of the salad. The first thing to go are some chopped bell peppers. Then I'm going to put in some cubed feta cheese. If you don't find feta cheese, you can easily substitute it with some paneer cheese. One cucumber that has been sliced. About 10 to 12 cherry tomatoes. 10 to 12 Greek Kalamata olives. Greek salad is usually made using Kalamata olives, but if you don't find them, you can easily substitute them with any other olives of your choice. I'm going to pour the salad dressing all over these beautiful ingredients. Let's mix the dressing into the salad ingredients. There are a lot of colors going in here, the red from the cherry tomatoes, the green and yellow from the bell peppers, the black from the Kalamata olives and the white from the feta cheese. All this makes for a gorgeous platter. Now is the time to put the salad together. I'm going to start by patting the lettuce leaves dry. I'm going to arrange the lettuce leaves over this platter and then I'm going to put this beautiful salad all over the leaves. The finishing touch would be a sprig of fresh oregano from my kitchen garden. And we are done. Salad for dinner, why not? If you carefully construct the salad, this could be an attractive centerpiece for a lunch or dinner party. Do make this salad and give me your feedback below or on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram with the hashtag Divine Taste with Anushruti. See you soon.